Greetings, everyone, and happy Friday. Brad here with Mild Manor EDC. Thought we'd do another what and why of my EDC carry today. So, uh, before we get into it real quick, though, you know, if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Please go ahead and consider giving a subscribe or like the video if you like what you're seeing here. Uh, do some reviews on this channel of, of knives and gear. A little more knives than gear, but working on getting more gear out there uh, on the channel. In fact, I've got one coming up uh, pretty soon that I hope folks will like. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, it'd be great to have you here a part of the family. If you're already a member of the family, thanks so much. I really appreciate your support. Love you. Appreciate it. Now, let's get into what I've got in my pockets and on my wrist today. Let's start with the wrist. So today, I've got the Timex Todd Snyder. That's right. Nothing too much to say about this other than I really like the looks of it. Um, it's a really it's a really nice, functional, lightweight, easy to carry watch. Um, you know, it costs about a hundred bucks or so. I think um, it, it might have been a little more when it first came out. It's been out for a little while now. But uh, yeah, Todd Snyder was one of is a watch designer. He was one of Timex's longtime watch designers. And this one's pretty cool because it's got sort of that uh, hour. Uh, ring there in black, and then military time, and then minutes out on the outer um, ring there, which is all kind of cool. Uh, has some pretty okay loom on the hands. Not fantastic, but it's decent enough. On here, on NATO strap with a Timex uh, branded, if I can, there's a little bit of glare there, sorry, a Timex branded little clasp there. But yeah, just a cool little watch. Uh, lightweight, easy for just kind of palling around the house on a rainy Friday, which is what I've got going on today. Because, you know, still working virtual and kids are still doing school virtual, although that might be changing here. So, you know, anyways, but uh, but yeah, so hanging around the house kind of gear today for the most part. Now, knife of the day. Yeah, this is the Booze Blade Smoke Mini. That's right. The smaller version of the famous Booze Blade Smoke. Um, this one has this one spoke to me immediately when I heard it was coming out uh, back when it did. I think it was last year. Yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome little front flipper. Beautiful 20 CV blade. And again, you know, this is another, <laughs> if I can get that. Yeah, this is another one of those knives that, you know, looks really great as an office carry. I mean, it's small. It's a little pointy, right? But looks really good, um, classy for an office carry or a date night or out on the town, something like that. But also is perfect because it's so lightweight and discreet and easy to carry for a day like this where you're just hanging around the house. So a lot to like about this particular knife. Um, it's got a fidget factor, which again, since I'm just sort of <laughs> hanging around, working at a computer, being able to sit there and flip some something that's fun. And yeah, um, so the booze, oh, just about dropped it there. Yeah, great little knife, the booze blade smoke mini. And the rumor that I have heard um, from a pretty good source is that it may, uh, there may be another run of these coming later this year. So. Keep an eye peeled out for those if this is something you might be interested in. It's a great little knife. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll put it here on the table. Hank, it's a Friday. I wanted something fun. I've got a Hank and Steins. Go ahead and check him out. He's got some really cool Hanks out there, especially this time of year with Halloween and whatnot. He's got some fun stuff. Uh, this is my Ren and Stimpy Hank. I bought this partly because my girls and I love Ren and Stimpy. I mean, I grew up Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was like a groundbreaking show, right? I mean, during its time, it really, it was one of the first cartoons to really push the envelope. And there, I mean, I remember there were parents that hated Ren and Stimpy and it had those really gnarly, nasty close-ups that they would do in the animation and stuff. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of, it was, if you're an, anima, an animation guy, you know, uh, Ren and Stimpy was a very cool, anyways, that's all tangential here. It's just a cool Hank, and I love the pattern, and it's got this cool pattern on the back as well. But uh, yeah, Hank and Stein Hanks, go check him out. Uh, Ren and Stimpy in the pocket here today. Uh, wallet. I've got my drop leather uh, lion wallet. I think this is actually made by British Belt Company. I think it's like a $40, $45 wallet. This is kind of one of my favorite wallets that I transitioned to in the fall. Um, we've moved into fall. A lot of times during the summer, uh, let me see what I can pull out over here real quick. I carry one of these lighter, easier sort of little card slips um, just for light weightitude, so to speak. Uh, but uh, as we get into fall, yeah, I, I like to go something more leathery. And yeah, this is one that I like a lot. It's not very expensive. I'm not a huge, you know, spend a lot of money on a wallet kind of guy. But this one has lasted really well. It's worn nicely. I carry it in my back pocket. 
So it's thin, it's easy. It's got four card slots, um, which is plenty for me for cash and cards and everything like that. So, you know, nice stitching there. You can see French calf skin made in England. Yeah, just a cool, cool little wallet. So I'm a fan of that. Pen today, also fidget friendly. I've got the Refine EP1. This one's in black with the little copper um, in the kind of tube there for the bolt action. And it is a bolt action pen, right? Which means, oop, the pen is deployed. Oop, the pen's not deployed <laughs> or retracted. So yeah, this is a cool pen. Um, I think this is probably the best affordable. Um, and you can check out a video. I did a video on, on my top five EDC pens, uh, but this might be uh, the top affordable bolt action fan, a pen out there in terms of quality in my mind. Um, it's got a removable, you can see it's got a Torx. Let me see if I can get that. There you go. It's got a Torx uh, top there where you can undo that, take the clip off if you don't want a clip, um, then, or you can put it back on if you want it. But um, yeah, you know, us knife people all have Torx bits laying around, so that makes it nice and easy. But yeah, it's just a nice, simple, lightweight, easy to carry pen that writes well, easy to replace cartridges, uh, etc. And like I said, for 35 bucks or something, this is just great value. And again, just for carrying it around the house and jotting down work notes, etc. like that. Great little knife. Uh, finally, I guess, you know, car keys <laughs> in case I go somewhere, which I probably will at some point today. Um, but yeah, just car keys. I've got my little Swiss Army classic SD here, sushi version. I'm a big sushi guy. <laughs> Who doesn't? Mm -hmm, sushi on Friday. That might need to happen today, actually. Maybe that's where I'll... I'll drive to. <laughs> um, anyways, that was kind of a weird laugh, wasn't it? Um, anyway, sushi, you know, I, for those of you part of the channel, I like to carry, I have two little girls and you just never know when you might need tweezers or a little tiny pair of scissors or who knows what just to make life easier. So I just, I just always carry these around with me uh, in some form or another, or at least like 90% of the time. So that's what I've got today on the wrist and in the pockets. I hope you've enjoyed this quick uh, little uh, what and why today, more importantly than anything, stay safe out there, be mild-mannered to each other, and all the best.